एवरी वन टुडे द न्यू टॉपिक इज रिज रिग्रेशन ओके वॉट इज रिज रिग्रेशन हियर रिज रिग्रेशन इज अ स्टैटिस्टिकल रेगुलराइजेशन टेक्निक ओके इट करेक्ट फॉर ओवर फिटिंग ऑन ट्रेनिंग डेटा इन मिशन लर्निंग मॉडल्स रिज रिग्रेशन ऑल्सो नोन एज एल टू रेगुलराइजेशन इज वन ऑफ द सवरल टाइप्स ऑफ रेगुलराइजेशन for linear regression models okay regularization is a statistical method to reduce errors caused by overfitting on training data this ridge regression is used to reduce errors so it is using a technique that is statistical regularization okay here what is meant by overfitting overfitting occurs when a machine learning models learns the training data too closely that means if we have so much data and that capturing noise and patterns that do not generalize well to new unseen data resulting in poor performance on test or validation sets these are all the uh, what errors in the training data okay it is char- characterized by high accuracy on training data but low accuracy on new data okay your choice you can write this uh, two definitions whether you can write this upper one or this lower one okay uh, ridge regression is a statistical regularization technique it corrects for overfitting on training data in machine learning models okay next um, see here we have comparison between linear regression and ridge regression okay let's see here in linear regression we have a formula that is y minus xp power t y minus xp okay whereas in ridge regression we have y minus xp power t y minus xp plus lambda mod b square okay listen here this formula is based on this uh, topic okay let's uh, remember this formula between the ridge regression and the linear regression okay and uh, linear regression is unbiased and ridge regression is biased it means it will follow the rules in ridge regression okay linear regression has high variance and ridge regression has low variance okay next ridge regression is one of the types of linear regression it means ridge regression is a type of linear regression okay in which a small amount of bias is introduced so that we can get better long term predictions means it has only small amount of bias ridge regression is a regularization technique which is used to reduce the complexity of the model it is also called as l2 regularization okay this ridge regression is called as l2 regularization in this technique the cost function is altered by adding the penalty term to it still now we have learned what is ridge regression and what is a technique and in which type it is right but in this technique the to- the cost function is altered by adding the penalty term to it it means we are adding an extra term we are giving a penalty to the ridge regression in what case see here in the formula we have y minus xp power t y minus xb this is a actual formula of linear regression what we are doing in ridge regression we are adding a penalty term to it right so for the linear regression we are adding a penalty term that is lambda mod b whole square this is the penalty term we are adding in the ridge regression okay next in this technique we are adding the penalty term the amount of bias added to the model is called ridge regression penalty when we are adding a penalty term to it the term is automatically called as ridge regression penalty okay we can calculate it by multiplying with the lambda to the square root of each individual feature okay next the equation for the cost function in the ridge regression will be this is the formula for the ridge regression okay you can write this one or else we, you can write this minimize formula also okay by comparing with, uh, this if we solve this formula we'll get this okay your choice and uh, next one in the above equation the penalty term regularizes the coefficients of the model and hence ridge regression reduces the amplitude of the coefficients that decreases the complexity of the model next 
as we can see from the above equation if the values of lambda tend to zero the equation becomes a cost function of the linear regression model why i am saying this means here see in this lambda place here in the equation of lambda place if we kept zero there what will happen the overall the after plus will get overall zero right so if we get zero what we are adding here this lambda term is a penalty term in the penalty term itself will get zero will get linear regression only there is no penalty term there if we keep zero so in that case what will happen the cost function of the linear regression model will be become means if you, if we keep zero in the lambda place it will become zero so the penalty term is removed there if we remove the penalty term then it is called as linear regression if we add the penalty term it is called as ridge regression okay hence for the minimum value of the lambda the model will resemble the linear regression model so you should completely keep at least one input there in the lambda place if we keep zero it will become again the linear regression only okay a general linear or polynomial regression will fail if there is a high collinearity between the independent variables means if we have lot of inputs or lot of outputs so it we will be get confused between the independent variables okay so in to solve that problem ridge regression can be used okay it helps to solve the problems if we have more parameters than samples okay next lasso regression we have learned about a ridge regression and now lasso regression a uh, lasso regression is a another regularization technique to reduce the complexity of the model okay it is also another regularization technique whereas uh, used in the ridge regression okay it stands for least absolute and selection operator lasso regression is also stands for what least absolute and selection operator here least absolute remember this word it is similar to the ridge regression except that penalty term contains only the absolute weight instead of square of weights it means it doesn't contain the square of weights here in the formula i kept here box where there is no square but in the ridge regression we have square here in the formula okay equation this is the difference between the lasso regression and the ridge regression okay we'll just assume only least absolute value it does not square the weights okay since it take absolute values hence it can shrink the slope to zero whereas ridge regression can only shrink it near to zero okay ridge regression what you should take at least one input value but it does not take it to the zero but here in lasso regression you can take it zero also okay it is also called as l1 regularization the equation for the cost function of lasso regression will be this is a formula okay that ridge regression is l2 regularization and lasso regression is l1 regularization okay let's see differences between ridge regression and the lasso regression uh, ridge regression it it makes use of the l2 regularization technique okay it makes use of the l1 regularization technique next in ridge regression it performs feature weight up dates as a loss function has an additional squared term i told you that we have a square in the formula whereas in the lasso regression we doesn't have that square okay it performs a feature weights updates as a loss function has an additional term containing the l1 norm of the weights vector it doesn't contain the square okay this is a difference between these two regressions it writes down the overall size of the weights values during optimization and reduce overfitting same this both are same but where is the difference between these both we have in square term in the ridge regression in lasso regression we doesn't have the square term okay that is the difference between both that's it thank you